Ugh. Ah. What's wrong with you? I don't have anything for a video. Got a bunch of tiny little changes, but none of them are significant enough to warrant their own space and devlog. So... Omnibus? Omnibus! Woo! Hello everybody and welcome back to Noia Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. If that sounds interesting to you, then you should subscribe. On this week of Noia Dev, it's an Omnibus episode. Let's get into this. have customizable cursors. You wouldn't notice it when it's there, but you would notice it if it wasn't there. We got volume sliders. You know how they work. Did I ever show you the scene transition mask? We have a scene transition mask. The player is no longer locked in place when casting a skill. You can now move to interrupt the cast. Some skills allow you to move while casting. The inspect player menu has been completely redone. This is what it looks like before. Now it's a proper right click on player menu. Interactable objects are now a thing and they highlight when you mouse over them. Also the cursor changes. What does it look like at night? <laughs> the game window can now be resized dynamically. The UI saves the same resolution. Look at this! We have a new tile set in the works by Clockwork Raven. Look at that tree! Look at them bones! Look at that glow! Look at those bones! Look at these bones! Did you enjoy that? I did. But wait! There's more! Skills will now follow up with your default attack, creating an auto attack system. We have a bank! Behold! My stuff. You have keybind settings. Very simple. Click the button, assign the key. Press escape to clear the key. <laughs> I am blitzed out of my gourd right now, but this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It works. It works so good. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Spooky overlays. Water is now anime. Now you know that we have sunlight in Noya already. But what if I told you about moonlight? Eh? Eh? Yeah. We have moonlight now. Floating monster cast bars and health bars are now a thing. When a monster is casting a skill that's interruptible, you'll see it over their head and in their target information. That's it for today. Brilliant! I liked it personally. I, I loved it! 